Hey guys, Kevin Shaw here, Editor-in-Chief of Mopar Connection Magazine. Want to take a moment today and focus on something that we think is really important, and that is rear main seal leaks and rear main seal sealing. It is going to be a lot of the same words over and over again, so I apologize. Uh, hopefully you're not going to make a drinking game out of it because I think a lot of you will end up in the hospital. But today we wanted to focus on how you can get the best rear main seal seal on your crankshaft with your B and RB and Hemi engine using the Mancini Racing Billet Aluminum Rear Main Seal. Now there are two different versions of this. We are going to show you the factory style rear main seal versus the Billet Aluminum Mancini Racing Rear Main Seal. We're also going to show you the differences of gaskets. Not only the crush gasket that goes around the crankshaft but also the side gaskets, the side seals do matter. So we're gonna take a moment and we're gonna go into detail, get in close on the two different versions that we have, as well as the improvements made over factory to the aftermarket. For a lot of you guys who are subscribers to the channel, you might have already seen our 505 cubic inch stroker motor that we took over to Tommy's Auto and Machine in Springfield, Tennessee. And we're gonna link it up in the corner. I wanna say it's my left. So hopefully I'm pointing at the right corner, otherwise it's gonna be in one of these corners. Anyway, we got it on the dyno, we are able to make 630 horse and 660 pound-feet of torque, all on pump gas, which was great. But before we did that, we developed a really bad rear main seal leak. And when we tore the bottom end apart, we found that although we were using the Mancini Billet Aluminum rear main seal, we actually were using the wrong gasket. At first we thought it was backwards. That wasn't the case. Actually, we were using the right rear main seal if we were doing a factory replacement. We were not. We were using one of the high performance rear main seals and that required a different gasket. Today we're gonna to show you in detail up close with the micrometer the reason why you need to run a more performance bred rear main seal gasket itself versus the factory rear main and we're also going to show you some of the tricks that you want to take when it comes to installing it. Hey guys real quick we have a whole mess of new Mopar Connection magazine t-shirts for sale they're up here at the Mopar Connection store we're gonna put the link up in the corner and we have some really cool designs the first one is my favorite and this is called the order of the big block and as you can see you're getting the full rotation of the big block firing order right here on your back. And in case you forget, you can have your buddy turn around and you can set your firing order the right way and not mess up. Second, we've got the what does Mopar mean to you? And it's a whole script of different definitions that have been some of the most popular ones that we've seen over the years. It's not all of them, but it's a snapshot of some of the best ones. So show your loyalty to Mopar by wearing it loud and proud. Grab yours at the store today. We'll put the link up in the corner. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have a factory original rear main seal. I tore through my whole garage. I thought I had two of them. Clearly, I don't. So what we're gonna show you is some of the new parts that I have here that I just keep up on the shelf, and hopefully that'll be sufficient. Number one is we wanted to show you what a traditional rear gasket, rear main seal gasket looks like. This is something we picked up from Molly, and it just comes with your assembly lube, and it comes with the traditional black rear main seal gaskets. I'm gonna call these gaskets. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna get mad at me in the comments and just call them seals. But for the sake of me repeating myself over and over and over again, I'm gonna to have to use gasket. This is a factory replacement style Mancini Racing rear main seal. It's the retainer package. And what we'll find in here is something very similar to this. And it's also going to have what I call the side straws or the side seals. And then we're going to open up these two that have the same part number. So number one, here is our factory replacement official licensed Mopar part. So it has a factory Mopar part number. It is an official licensed product. Mancini rear main seal kit. Okay, so this is the main seal itself. Built aluminum, very nice, very well built, CNC machined. You have a nice chamfer there, and you have the single channels 
for the side straws or the side seals and you have the main channel cut out to fit the factory seal gasket. In the kit what they send you is the black rear main seal gasket as well as the two blue side straws. Okay so let's crack these open. Here we are. Alright, so these do have a little bit of a chamfer that go and they will insert just like this. And these again are just like the factory, how they came in 1969, 1970. No difference. You probably want to use some RTV. I like to cover the RTV all the way around them. It's a super messy process because you want to get that nice ribbed side right here up against the side of the engine block. Pressing these in, and we're going to show you in just a little bit, pressing these in can be a chore. It is a messy process and it is a bit of a bear. But then we have the rear main seal itself. You'll see that the two sides are not the same. You see how one has a lip that goes in and then there's a shorter lip for the outside with a little bit of a channel. This lip you want to point inside towards the connecting rods. So we're going to set this in and you should see that lip rests really nicely pointed in towards the connecting rods. This is towards the back of the block. This is your last line of defense right here is this radius okay so that is a factory style rear main seal with the single channel single channel and with these now i went ahead and i ordered two of these hemi billet kits pop it open let's pull this back out we're going to take a look at it yes it's the same design, but there are differences. Take a look. We do not have that chamfer on this one. We also have very different ch side channels. Let's see if I can't get this to focus on camera. You see that we have two channels. Let me bring that in. We have two channels here. One big thick one right here. You'll also see that they've radiused this and we have a little bit of a deeper lip we made a point earlier that we use a factory style seal in here when we did we found that the outer lip was not crushing or sealing in here i want you to see how deep it is this black seal sits too deep Look at the channel. You can see right here how deep it is in the channel. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. I'm going to zoom in. So let's actually I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'll put the other side back into the factory Mopar license product replacement. And you guys will see. Here we go how nicely the lip lines up right here. There's no, there's no gap. The aluminum is not higher than the rubber seal right here. Okay? But look at the difference. Look how high the aluminum is versus the black, the black seal. This lip is buried inside of the channel. It's important to note that. You're not sealing your crankshaft on this alone, you need to have that lip. So, what does Mancini give you? They send you this big, thick, this is what Felpro calls their high compression or high pressure rear main seal gasket. Let's take a look. Is it any different? Here, let's turn it around. It's vastly different. Look at the thickness differences here. 
Yeah, it's imperative that you guys can see just the thick, the difference in thickness of these two seals. And if you don't believe your eyes, let's get the micrometers out. Factory. I'm not, I'm not putting any pressure on it. Factory. Now let's look at the Felpro. Same position. Okay. It's 150 thousandths. 150 thousandths difference. Let's see what we get here. Top to bottom. Looks like another hundred thousandths. Okay, so just to review, we have our Mancini Racing Performance rear main seal. Then we have our Mopar Performance Mopar approved part number factory style replacement over here. We have the single channel for the side and that side seal is this little guy. Second of all, when you push them in, they always seem to slide out and you have to try to fight them to wiggle them back in. So it's always a pain in the butt. Any of you guys who've built your own motors, you're going to know these little side seals are just a chore. All right, put that over here. We have our factory style thinner rear main seal gasket. Again, we slide it in. It fits nice. It's a good piece. It's designed for this black gasket. But when you put the high performance one on, and we got to put it on the right way. Here we go. You put it on, it's a big tight fit. You got to really squeeze that boy in there. It's a thick it's a thick one. All right? But put this over here. Take our Mancini one. If we put the rear gasket in, the rear seal push it in, you're going to have all sorts of aluminum showing. You got a big thick lip right there. Okay. Again, it's casting a shadow. You can see it. So then let's put this guy over here. We take the factory, whoop, 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 put it the right way. We place that in nice thick radius. That's a nice flush seal right there. You're getting a lot of crush on the crankshaft itself. So that is why this brown high pressure or high performance Felpro gasket is the one you're going to want. I would even run it in the factory one personally. I don't mind a little bit of torque just to get that much seal over the factory style. It's worth the extra, what, 12 bucks, 18 bucks on, on Summit? Get those. But... Let's take a second and look at the side seals that Mancini came up with. We'll grab one of these little dudes. They're just a square cut little kind of little piece of spaghetti. You place it in, then you fold it over. And it's going to press in very tightly into this channel. It does not want to walk out. It's actually in there really good. You get that guy folded in and then feed it into this channel. But when you seal this in, when you press this into the engine block, that's when you take your exacto knife and you trim it off only when it's done. Okay? Now this is going to want to crush down too when it's torqued down. So it's going to crush down and it's going to feed all the way up. Here we go. Here we go. That's how it's done. Put some pressure on there. You have four ways of sealing. Not just one, not just one big one, but two on each side to make sure you're not getting oil past that. That's why this design is just so much sharper. Just a really bright design, really, really smart. And again, you just take your X-Acto knife, when you're done, slide it across, nip that off, and you're done. Okay, so we just showed you 
High performance rear main kit from Mancini Racing. That's part number MRE220. You guys can see that right there, MRE220. Okay. And they give you all the hardware you need. All right. By the way, these are guides. They supply you these guides. Why on earth would you want a guide? Well, the nice thing is, is that when this is in the block, you can slide it over and not lose your, your side seals or your rear main. Make sure that everything is slid in nice. Then when it's all in place, pull it out one by one and get your factory style anodized, nice heavy duty grade eight bolt, put it through. Again, Mancini speaks Mopar. There's a reason why the Mancini for 50 years has been absolutely kicking butt when it comes to performance Mopars. In my opinion, if you're making any sort of power, if you're making any sort of extra oil pressure, if you're making any sort of crankcase pressure, if you are a high compression motor, if you're 10 and a quarter to one or more, I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest you grab the high performance dual seal heavy duty high pressure felpro mancini performance kit that's the mre 220 so let's show you what it takes to put these on on a big block and we're going to use my hemi block to do it so if you were to use the mancini racing factory style replacement you're going to get the following items in this kit. All right, you get the billet replacement seal. This has the radius edges, and that radius is going to be visible on these sides. Okay? You're also going to get the factory style thinner rear main seal gasket, the rear seal itself. All right, you're going to get your hardware. That's easy enough. You're also going to get these side straws, these little chamfered straws. And you can see right here, they're pretty tight. You can't just shove them in right there, okay? For a lot of you new guys, this is your first engine build. You're not going to be able to stick them in as easily. But let me show you the side seals and a little bit of the problem that they present, okay? I'm going to put them in dry, but... That really doesn't make much of a difference. Okay. You really got to fight to get these boys to wiggle in. Then you want to put your thumbs on top while you guide it in. All right. Ah, you see? <laughs> you just shaved off a little bit of that rubber. Okay. So we're in there pretty good. Okay, we're, we're poking up a little bit. That's all right, our RTV and our gasket can pretty much cover the, mat, the rest of it once we've tried to squeeze it in. Did a good job, I'm right over the threads. All it takes is just tightening them down. But let's see how the factory seals go in. Again, this is why I like the Performance Mancini kit, because they give you the guides and the guides make life so much easier. Okay, so again, we want our longer lip pointed in. Okay, you want the final seal at the back. All right, that goes in nice. Now I will tell you, a lot of engine builders do a clever trick, and that is that they insert it, a little offset. And it's a little tough to do more than maybe just a quarter of an inch. But if you can offset it, or even, and I have seen this, if you can index the gasket in the channel, you can quite literally have this in here turned and then place this over it. Um, 
Some guys I know, really sharp engine builders, really, really clever. They've done some really good jobs. Because again, the idea is to have, is to index this split differently than, or the, the split of the block. So if you can index this, you're not gonna have leaks going straight across. You can actually get some sealant and block off any possible leaks from that direction. It's a trick that a lot of guys do. If you can just offset it a little bit, that's great. I recommend it. So that is the stock kit. We're gonna take this stuff off and then we're gonna show you the performance kit and how much easier and how much better seal you're gonna get from the performance kit. Okay, so this is the MRE 220 Mancini Racing Kit. This is gonna have everything you're gonna need and obviously your it's got your high performance or your high pressure Felpro rear main seal or rear main seal gasket. It's got your side gaskets. It's got the billet piece with the two channels on each side and no chamfer, it's easy to tell. It's also gonna come with your guides and obviously your hardware. So let's put the guides in. Rear main seal, again, it's thicker, but you're gonna to wanna to have that sharper lip that you have right here, pointed inside, pointed towards your connecting rods. What really sets apart the Mancini kit, of course, are these little black little sp spaghetti strings, okay? Again, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Goes into the perch. You're gonna wrap it around and make sure that they're sitting flush in their channels, okay? Put a little bit of pressure there because again, it's gonna crush when you torque it down. Okay, so we're gonna slide it through. Okay, we got a little bit of pressure, but See, if you push too hard, look what happened. If you push too hard, it presses them in, it stretches them out, and they're not sealing. See how we stretched them out? So again, we're doing this dry, of course, and that's not how final assembly would look. But there we go. Just walk it a little bit. And now you just have a little bit of slack instead of what we had before. Last time it was real, it was almost as tall as this was. So we're gonna snug this up. Obviously we're pretending we're not actually truly torquing this down. But we wanna show how nice this comes together. Okay, nice and flush. This is when you would take an X-Acto knife and you trim these off. So now with this, you've got a nice flush mounted rear main seal. Everything is very well indexed in and it's going to be super reliable and not leak. And that is obviously the most important thing is that it's not leaking. So hopefully that was a little helpful and a little bit of a problem solver for you guys who are curious as to differences between a factory style rear main seal and a performance aftermarket style rear main seal, as well as the differences in the two different seals themselves. There are differences. We showed you the measurements. We showed you how well they sat deep in the channel. And honestly, I would kind of go overkill. It's worth the extra bucks to get the high pressure or the high performance Felpro rear main seal. I will put the part number up here on the screen so that you guys can get it. It's easily available on Felpro, on through Mancini, or on Summit Racing. You can pretty much get it anywhere. So definitely step up to the Superior Gasket, as well as getting the better side seals and the guides through the Mancini racing kit. Personally, it's a favorite of mine. I throw it in most every engine I build and it's just a few extra bucks. I like that kind of insurance. So hopefully that was a little bit helpful and it did clear up a little bit of the mistakes. So hopefully you can take my lesson that I learned 
and apply that towards your engine build. And if anything, maybe you'll take a second look at the Mancini Racing rear main kit. I think it's really worth the few extra bucks that you would have spent otherwise on just replacing the stock stuff. I would step it up to the big stuff. Guys, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Maybe leave a comment and share it with your friends. They'll definitely help us grow the channel. And if you want more awesome Mopar content, please visit us over at www.moparconnectionmagazine where new articles are written and published every single day, Monday through Friday, entirely subscription-free to you. There's no downloads. There's no passwords. We just want to give you all the information that you guys need to get your cars up on the road and having an absolute blast this year. We'll see you there.